Hello, my fellow viewer. So, I heard you want to make music for your games. And luckily, it's not as hard as you think. The only hard part is actually beginning, which is what this video is here for. Anyways, let's get started, shall we? First off, obviously you're going to need some sort of music program. Personally, I like to use FL Studios. Just a heads up, FL Studios does cost a bit of money, and when, when I mean by a bit, I mean like, a lot. However, there is a free trial version that you can use, it's just, you won't be able to save your projects, which really sucks. I do think that FL Studios is 100% worth it though, if you want to begin starting music. Just know that this tutorial is not a tutorial on FL Studios. You're probably gonna have to do your own research. This is just me giving out my tips on how I make my music personally. Anyways, on to step two. Stealing other songs. Yeah, no, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Okay, I don't really mean straight up steal music, I mean more like just listening to music. Sometimes it's really hard to make a song when you don't know what type of song you're going to make. So sometimes it's really good to find ideas. You're going to ask yourself questions like, what song do I really want to make? Do I want to make an edgy ass rock song? Do I want to make a town village comfortable theme? Do I want to make a happy cheery theme? Do I want to have an epic final boss theme? Sometimes when you're looking for a certain theme, it's really good because it can give you ideas on what type of song you want to make. For this tutorial, I want to have a cozy home type of vibe. So I'm going to be listening to Falling Down from Undertale because it gives off that same vibe that I'm looking for. Let's take a listen. You see how it gives off the same vibe? That's because some of the chords are placed almost the same, with slight differences. It's good to get ideas from other songs and putting your own little twist to them, which helps you create something completely different. It's almost like sketching. Sometimes you need a reference for your sketch. Hell, even Toby Fox does the same thing. Most of his songs are inspired by Earthbound and even use Earthbound sound fonts. Oh wait, I forgot to mention sound fonts. Sound fonts are basically the styles of notes. They give off a whole personality to your song. Let's say you want to have Megalovania. It uses the Earthbound samples, for example. Now what if we replace the Earthbound sound fonts with Super Mario 64 sound fonts? <laughs> it would kind of sound like this. Now that you know about sound fonts, just know that there's varieties of sound fonts all across the internet. This ranges from Pokemon, Legend of Zelda, Mario games, Earthbound, you name it. I'm not saying you have to use them, but they're really fun to mess with. I'll put them in the description. Okay, we finally know what type of song we're gonna make, so now we can actually finally construct our song. <laughs> Now, I don't really think it matters what order you put the song in, so I'm just going to start off the song with chords. Now that we have some beautiful chords, we're gonna make our main melody now. Usually the main melody is what you hear the most often, so we want it to be the most memorable part. Alright, that works. Something I forgot to mention, make sure that your melody is aligned with your chords, otherwise it'll be off tune. Anyways, this is what it should sound like together. Now there's only one problem, it's one loop, so let's fix that.
So a good way to break repetition is adding other sections to your songs. Personally, I like to follow this formula where it goes from section A to section B, back to section A, and then to something new. It's pretty much what I use in most of my songs, so we're just gonna follow that. Yeah. So here's section B. So here, obviously, I had a different melody, but the chords are exactly the same, and I also added to the strings, which just layer the chords. One thing you can also do is also layer your melodies if you want to, just so it can sound different, you know, so it doesn't become boring and the. Now we're gonna bring back section A. This time I added the strings, and I have section B's melody as a whistle. Almost done, we just need to make our final section. This is gonna be the highlight of the song and also the conclusion of it. And then it should just loop back around like most songs do. And since I want to make this the most memorable part of the song, I'll actually be using a different chord progression. Ironically enough, this is another pattern that I stole, I mean borrowed from Toby Fox. I mean, hey, it's different enough, so please don't sue me. Please. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, here's the final part of our song. Just wanted to show you how I made the chords. Something you can do is put your melodies in sections. So this part right here would be section A, and then right here it'd move on to section B, and that very last part just switches back to section A. Except that there's a few notes right here. There's a few notes that go down right here. Yeah. And we're pretty much done with this track. So what did we cover today? One, use other songs as references. You can use FLPs as tools. Two, sound fonts are very cool. Use them if you want. Three, make sure your melodies are actually lined up with your chords so they don't sound bad. And four, use A, B, A, B, C formula. Now, do I expect you to be Mozart by the end of this video? No. Music is something that takes time to get good at, so don't feel discouraged. And besides, do you really think I know what I'm doing? Even for someone like me, I almost know nothing about music theory. It just took me some practice and research to get somewhat decent. And I'm encouraging you to do the same. Um, so here's some videos that I actually watched, so you can go watch those instead if this tutorial was too confusing for you. This video is only the knowledge I have on music making, and I still have a lot more to cover, but I just don't want this video to be too long, so I might make a part 2 or another video like this. So if you're looking forward to more music content like this, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it because, damn, these videos are really time consuming to make. Even with all of that in the way, thank you for watching. I'll play the final product right now, or you could just listen to it for yourself. It'll be called Amethyst Fields. Anyways, I'll talk to you later.